This is some National 5 revision. We're looking at the uh, the straight line topic today. We've got uh, three questions that we're going to complete and we'll go straight for them. Okay, here we go. Right then, the first one. Uh, find the equation of the line which passes through the points 0, negative 2 and 8, 0. Okay then, so to find the equation of the line, what I want to, to get out at the end is I want it to look like y equals m x plus c. So that's what I want it to look at, look like. Things I've got to find, I've got to find the gradient, and I've also got to find the y-intercept value. So that would be the c value that's there. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do that just now. So to get the gradient, first of all, I'll just use the gradient formula with you these two points. So the gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. Not given in your exam, uh, as a formula, but you need to remember that one there. Right, so I'm going to use this as my second point. This one is my first point. So I'm going to go for 0, take away negative 2. So 0, take away negative 2. And I've got 8, take away 0. Okay. Sometimes you can label them up that that would be your x1, that's your y1. That one there would be your x2, second point, And that's my y2, or of the second point. Okay. Right, so... All I need to do is to sort this bit out here. So 0, take away negative 2. So that's going to give me a positive 2 on the top there and an 8 on the bottom. And then I'll just simplify that down to 1 quarter. So that's me got my gradient. Right, so from there, um, there's a couple of different options we can use here. The first thing I can see here is I've got the point 0, negative 2. So 0, negative 2 will tell me where the line crosses the y-axis. So from there directly, I can see that c equals negative 2. What I could do right away is into this equation that's here, I could write down, instead of y equals mx plus c, I'll substitute in my, um, my gradient. So y is then equal to a quarter, x, and it's take away 2. Take away 2. And there's my equation of my line. Now, another option that we could have used if we didn't see that, what I could do is I could pick a point on the line. So say I picked this point here, this second point that we've got. And what I might want to do is to substitute that as an x-coordinate and that as a y-coordinate into this equation. So let's do that first of all. So my y coordinate would be 0, so a 0 here. I worked out my gradient, which was a quarter. The x coordinate that's associated with this point is 8, so it'll be a quarter of 8, and then plus c. The only thing I don't know there is the c value, so I can solve it. So let's go and do that. So that'll be 0 is equal to 2, quarter of 8 is 2, plus c. And then to rearrange that equation, just take 2 away from each side, Two away from each side gets rid of that. That gives me c is equal to negative 2. Then I can just write the equation out again. So y is equal to m is a quarter, quarter x, and the c value that I worked out in that method is minus 2. So that's the way I could do it there. Another way you might have been taught this. So just one of these methods is all you need. I'm just giving you another method for it. So we could use the formula y minus b equals mx minus a. And this is another common way to, to work these through. At the end, it works out the formula for me, uh, the, the equation of the line for me. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pick one of the points and I'm going to call it a and I'll call it b. So the 8 is an a and the 0 is a b from that point. I could have used that point. Hey, I'm just using that one there. I'm using that one because there's no negatives in it. It makes it easier to work with. So there's the a and the b that's there. So what I'll do is I'll substitute the values in. y minus b, so the b value is 0, is equal to m, which was a gradient I had to work out anyway. And the a value is the 8 that's there. That's 8. When I work that through, I take a quarter of x, and then a quarter of negative 8, which is minus 2, and there you go. It's just unraveled right away. So there's three different methods to use. This one here, the simplest one, because you're given that point. Uh, this one here, a method you may use. This one here that uh, you, you may have been taught. So three methods to work out that question there. Okay, let's move on. So kind of similar question. The only difference here is that we've got a diagram. So find the equation of the line in the diagram here. Okay, so, right. So I don't have any points or, um, you know, it doesn't look as though I've got any points on the, the diagram that's here. But what I can do is I can select a couple of points and uh, I can go from there. So what we'll go for is, let's go for the points. Let's see what we work on. 
I'm going to try and just pick two points. So I'm going to pick the point here. So that point there is 0, negative 1. So that's going to help me get my C value from there. So from there I can see that the C value equals minus 1 already. And the other point that I may want to pick, maybe something like, uh, let's just go for this one here, because that's kind of quite nice and neat. So that's 1 along and 2 up. So that's 1 along and 2 up. There's the two points I'm going to use. So on the diagram you just pick two points that cross over the grid, and you work it out from there. Right, let's go and do it. So I'll do the, the question over on this side here. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to work out my gradient. So my gradient is equal to y2 minus y1 all over x2 minus x1. I'll pick that as my second point. So that'll be my x2, y2. Take this as my first point. That's my x1, y1. Remember the one just denotes that's the first point. That's the second point. Right, let's put the numbers in. So I've got two take away. And that's a negative one, negative one. So I'm just leaving it with the two minuses instead of just putting it in as a plus. And then the one take away zero. One take away zero. So two take away negative one gives us a two plus one, which gives us a three on the top. And one minus zero gives me a one. So that as a gradient tells me that what I'm going to do is I'm going to go along one place and up three. Along one and up three. So that gives me quite a kind of steep line there, a gradient of 3. So I'm going to change that to 3, and I would have to do that to get my final mark. OK? Right, let's put it together as a, an equation. So I've just already identified my C value that's a negative 1, but I could have used any of the, the, uh, the methods that I used in the last question, but I'm just going to go for writing it out as y equals mx plus c, and it's y is equal to 3x, because I worked out my gradient here, my C value is negative 1, Done. OK. Just remember, you can do it the other ways as well. OK. Go back to that uh, other question if you want to see the methods that you can use for that. Right, let's do the last question that's here. Right then, so question 26. Find the equation of the line which passes through the points 1, negative 3 and negative 3, 5. Right, so I don't have a point where it crosses over the y-axis. I don't know what that is at the moment. So what I'll do is I'll uh, just use um, I'll use one of the other two methods that I uh, started with in question 24. So let's call this the first point. So that's x1, that coordinate there, and that's y1, our first point. This is my second point, so x2 and y2. So that's my point. I'm going to go for the gradient uh, right away because that helps me work some things out. So my gradient y2 minus y1, all over x2 minus x1. So we've got 5. So I'm going 5, take away negative 3. And I'm going for negative 3, take away 1. OK, so what that should give me on the top line is 8. And on the bottom line, negative 3, take away another 1, gives me a negative 4. If I simplify that down by dividing the top and bottom by 4, I'll get uh, 2 over negative 1. Or that would just simply be negative 2 over 1. When I think about a gradient of negative uh, 2 over 1, every time I move along one place, because it's a negative, I go down 2. So along 1, down 2. Along 1, down 2. OK, that's what that gradient is. But to get the mark for the gradient, I'm going to simplify that to negative 2. Because negative 2 over 1 is just straight negative 2. OK, then. What we'll do now is we'll work out by using one of the other methods. So... What I'll do first of all is I'll use that middle, the, the middle method that I use. So I'm going to use the y equals mx plus c. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to substitute one of the points and I'm going to take, let's go for it, we'll go for the first point here. I'll go for this one here that we'll use. Okay, I'm going to use this point. So that one there will be my x coordinate and that will be my y coordinate. So negative 3 is equal to the gradient I've just worked out, which is minus 2. And I'm going to multiply that by the x-coordinate, which is 1. And then I've got plus c. So the only thing that I don't know is the c value, so I can solve this now. So it's negative 3 is equal to negative 2 plus c. Uh, to rearrange the equation, just to have c on its own, I'm going to add 2 to both sides. Remember, that eliminates that part there. Leaves me with c is equal to negative 1. OK, so my equation is y equals, and I'm going for my gradient of negative 2, negative 2 x and c is equal to negative 1 negative 1 so there's my equation of the line okay the other way i could have done it would be to use the equation y minus b 
equals m x minus a. Okay, so there's the other option that I've got. So let's go for it. I'm going to use the same point again, and I'm going to call that the a value, call that the b value. So it'll be y minus, and that'll be a minus 3, is equal to the gradient that I worked out, which was negative 2 at the top, and that's x minus 1. Okay, so the a value equals 1. So that's going to be the same as y plus 3 is equal to. I'm going to multiply this bracket out now. So that times that gives me negative 2x. Negative 2 times uh, negative 1. That will give me a positive 2. And then to sort this equation out, I'm going to take 3 away from both sides. So that will eliminate that. That leaves me with y is equal to. So it's negative 2x and 2 take away 3 gives me negative 1. So two options that I could use there to work out that question. So that's what we've got for the straight line. So we've got uh, three kind of straightforward questions there working with two two points. One we have to had to find the points out on the uh, graph and uh, that's that's the straight line topic completed. Okay so hopefully this has helped you with any of the assessments that you may be doing in uh, January and February.